From Pittsburgh to Retirement, Mario Lemieux's Career Journey Mario Lemieux is undoubtedly one of the greatest hockey players of all time. Throughout his career, he showcased incredible skill, determination, and resilience, cementing his legacy as a true legend of the sport. From his humble beginnings in Montreal to his historic tenure with the Pittsburgh Penguins, Lemieux's journey is one that will be remembered for generations to come. Early Years in Montreal Mario Lemieux was born on October 5, 1965, in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. From a young age, he showed a natural talent for hockey and quickly rose through the ranks of the sport. By the time he was a teenager, Lemieux was already attracting attention for his extraordinary skills on the ice. In 1984, Lemieux was drafted by the Pittsburgh Penguins as the first overall pick in the NHL entry draft. This marked the beginning of a new chapter in his career, one that would ultimately lead him to greatness. Rise to stardom in Pittsburgh Lemieux quickly made a name for himself in the NHL, earning praise for his scoring ability, playmaking skills, and overall dominance on the ice. In his rookie season, he scored 100 points and won the Calder Memorial Trophy as the league's top rookie. This was just the beginning of Lemieux's incredible journey with the Penguins. Throughout the 1980s and 1990s, Lemieux continued to dazzle fans and critics alike with his remarkable performances. He led the league in scoring multiple times, won numerous awards and accolades, and solidified his reputation as one of the greatest players in NHL history. Perhaps the pinnacle of Lemieux's career came in the 1991 and 1992 seasons, when he led the Penguins to back-to-back -back Stanley Cup championships. Lemieux's leadership, skill, and determination were instrumental in the team's success, and he was rightfully recognized as the MVP of both championship runs. Overcoming Adversity Despite his incredible success on the ice, Lemieux faced numerous challenges and setbacks throughout his career. In 1993, he was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, a form of cancer that threatened to derail his career. However, Lemieux faced this adversity head-on, undergoing treatment and ultimately returning to the ice stronger than ever. In true Lemieux fashion, he made a triumphant comeback, leading the league in scoring and earning the Hart Memorial Trophy as the NHL's most valuable player. His resilience and determination were an inspiration to fans worldwide, and his ability to overcome such a serious illness only heightened his legend in the hockey community. Retirement and Legacy in 1997, Mario Lemieux announced his retirement from professional hockey, citing health concerns and a desire to spend more time with his family. His decision to retire marked the end of an era in Pittsburgh and the NHL as a whole, as fans and players alike recognized the immense impact he had on the sport. Despite his retirement, Lemieux's legacy continues to endure to this day. In 2000, he made a comeback to the NHL, proving once again that he was a force to be reckoned with on the ice. Throughout his career, Lemieux amassed an impressive list of accomplishments, including six scoring titles, three MVP awards, and two Stanley Cup championships. Off the ice, Lemieux has also made a significant impact through his charitable work and community involvement. In 1999, he founded the Mario Lemieux Foundation, which supports cancer research and patient care initiatives. His dedication to giving back to the community has only further solidified his status as a role model and inspiration to fans worldwide. Mario Lemieux's career journey from Montreal to Pittsburgh is a testament to his unparalleled skill, determination, and resilience. Throughout his time in the NHL, he dazzled fans with his incredible performances, overcame adversity with courage and strength, and left behind a lasting legacy that will be remembered for generations to come. Mario Lemieux will always be remembered as one of the greatest hockey players of all time, a true legend of the sport.